Hi everyone, I will be trying out some new products in this video. The first one will be Nykaa's new foundation, their all day matte foundation. This is priced at Rs 599. It's supposed to provide a non cakey soft matte finish and medium coverage. It's also supposed to be lightweight and comfortable on skin. The coverage is medium and it isn't very buildable so it can't cover pigmentation. You have to use a concealer for that. The finish is soft matte and a thing that I really like about this foundation is that it doesn't cling to dry patches and doesn't look cakey like the Nykaa Skin Shield foundation. I'm not a huge fan of the Nika Skin Shield foundation. I think I used it only twice. It just enhances the texture of my skin so I don't use it anymore. I wasn't satisfied with the shade that I'm using right now. I got it in the shade Nutmeg which is supposed to have a neutral undertone. The only reason I didn't go with the shade Olive is because it has a pink undertone and not warm or olive. The shade Nutmeg doesn't seem to be as pink but the undertone still doesn't match me perfectly. On my skin, this foundation looks a bit dewy and that's because I moisturized my face with a thick moisturizer before applying this foundation because I thought that this foundation will be very matte like the Fit Me foundation. But in reality, this foundation actually has a soft matte finish. I'll highly recommend that you watch some swatch videos before purchasing this foundation because the shades don't exactly look how they're portrayed on the website. After this, we have the Insights Cosmetics HD Concealer in MNY20. This has a yellow-orange undertone. The packaging reminds me of the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. So I thought that this is going to have high coverage. That's why I use the least amount on my under eyes. It is full coverage and you do need the tiniest amount of this concealer. You need to blend it quickly. It does oxidize a bit too. This shade is perfect for me. It does look a bit yellow, but that's because of the foundation's undertone. If I use the concealer on its own, it's going to look totally fine on me. In this video, I will only be trying out the new products that I bought and I will be skipping everything else because I want this video to be short and precise and I want to focus on the new products. I don't think that this concealer is going to work really well on dry skin. It can look a little bit patchy on dry skin, especially if you have dry patches on your face. It can cling to that. For eyes, I have the Mars Eye Skin Kill 63 Bright Colors Eyeshadow Palette. This palette has matte, shimmer and glitter formulations. I will be creating two eye looks today. I can't do the same look on both eyes. I mean we have 65 shades and I've got to use as many of them as possible. This palette is big. It has a combination of popping colorful shades and your everyday shades and all of that at just Rs 999. The shades are unbelievable if we consider the price. All the shades are pigmented, there is least kickback and no fallout. I have to say Mars is launching some amazing products at affordable prices. The shades are blendable, they blended smoothly and I didn't even set my eye base with a powder. If you like being creative with your eye makeup, you can go for this palette. It has all the shades you will need. This obviously isn't your everyday palette because of the shades and the size, but it's definitely for the days you feel creative. Let's move on to the eye looks. On one side, I use sunset tones, yellow, orange, pinks, purples. Both the eye looks are cut crease. I use the Maybelline Age Refine Concealer in the shade Neutralizer as my eyeshadow base and I use the same shade to cut the crease. For lining the cut crease, you can use any white eyeliner and just pop on some of the neon yellow shade on top of it or you can just leave it to the white eyeliner if you are creating this kind of look. Although you can do countless number of looks with this palette. On the other side, I will be using the blues and greens. Again, starting with a popping blue shade from the palette. I placed it above my crease. To intensify this shade, I'm going to use some black from the palette and just blending it all together. After this, I use the concealer to clean it out. For my lid, I am starting with this bright green color. I'm gonna place it very close to my inner corner. And then I'm going to take a deeper green shade and place it on the center of the eyelid. And for the rest of my eyelid, I am going to use a sea green shade. For lining the cut crease, you can use any white eyeliner and just pop on some of the neon yellow shade on top of it. You can use an eyeliner if you want, but for me, it will just cover everything, so I'm not gonna use an eyeliner. After this, I placed the green glitter on the right side. And I am going to use the orange glitter for my left side. I don't think you need glitter glue with these glitters. Simply pick it up with a brush and apply it. You can get some fallout, but you just have to dust it off. I lined my lips with the Kia Beauty Lip Liner in Fame and for my lipstick, I'm using the MAC Retro Matte Lip Color in Burnt Spice. My lips are nude so that the colors on my eyes look more popping. I did a colorful look after so many days. I guess I used too many shades, but it's not my fault. This eyeshadow palette had a lot of amazing shades. 
and I had to use them. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.